what we learned was how to learn things on our own like without any guidance without any proper classroom or teachers we had to learn everything on our own and that i think was a very valuable experience no matter which robotic simulator you start working on um no matter how daunting it looks at the first go through the entire manual at least like skim through it so that you know where to find what because i know it might be really really daunting several hundreds of pages long but at least just skim through it so that you have a rough idea of where to find what if things go wrong so leopoldo or mesto has come up with so many different advanced tutorials about how to use copelia sim and this was very helpful in helping us learn how learn the ropes essentially at the beginning because we were very new to it an enlightenment for engineers any other competitions it's like how much we know it's just to apply how much we know about the things here we learn completely new concepts and then apply it and think how practically it will work you shouldn't be quiet about your doubts so uh, in one of the tasks we tried to solve the doubt by ourselves so we had a doubt uh, about some uh, like algorithm being allowed in the rules or not is it out of the bounds something like that but uh, for the longest time we tried to solve it by making something else but as soon as we asked the question on the forum we got a positive answer that yes it is in bounds and we were given a green signal to use it so we wasted that much of time please talk about whatever problems and doubts you have on the forum people are there to help we had uh, divided the arm into a visible part and a dynamic part so while making the dynamic part uh, the concern should be only about uh, it being a solid model and not including any holes or slots which is there in the visible part like i was quite confused in the first uh, stand when i took the notice of this so this is a thing which is not to be worried about the dynamic part can be anything but it should resemble the visible part but not uh, very detailed designing cell in copelia sim that a respondable mass if two object become equal then if they get collide that a what we have really very different we can't even imagine that what a problem is it baffled me for a week to find out that a real problem was in the respondable mass so it was very much beneficial if you, you can incorporate the para students that to take special care of the respondable mass we usually run the test cases in the normal code run process but uh, the task is tested upon an executable file so that executable file testing is quite dif- different from the usual code running process so students should check those uh, executable files time to time and run the simulations in them also because we start really from the basics so uh, like one should not get over over confident about uh, the themes that are you know that are yet to come so we should like consider everything at uh, like give every topic their own importance and we should not be like over confident regarding because the starting things are easy but it gradually gets difficult and difficult so. this is uh, rock hashira from uh, demon slayer he is a guy who has gone through severe penance to uh, get his incredible powers so uh, what that basically signifies is that so you have to pull through all of the difficulties all of the bugs all of the inefficiencies of uh, that you create yourself to finally find the ultimate power that is knowledge through e yatra <laughs>